looks beautiful. It's so bright blue. Ooh. Oh, good man, audio. That sounds correct. Yeah. That sounds good. We have all these terabytes of RAM or memory. Yeah, real memory, not and, regular memory. Then, well, I mean, there is virtual memory. Okay. You know, that's a cache. I love how his data cache, like for his CPU, is tiny compared to how much RAM he has. <laughs> Reading Blu-ray disc extended format. Streaming X-Men tapes of future past. Maybe, maybe Dr. Kane's password should be more than like five letters too. I feel like that's maybe really not safe. And What's this, up? The Dr. Kane's password probably shouldn't just be five letters. That seems really dangerous. Nah, it's Somebody fine. could crack that. Uh, you need a specific keyboard to type it in. Mm. Blam, 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 boys, 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 boys. This is a weirdly downbeat intro. It is. Like, not just from a... The ability a... to think? Yeah. <laughs> Mega Man Couldn't Think is a weird thing yeah. that the X-Series introduces. Right, like, um... That guy was a stooge. <laughs> Dude was a toaster with legs and arms. <laughs> He's really ability. <laughs> Nor do I have the patience. <laughs> so it, it's only 30 years, and he's like, there's no one could possibly carry my work on. It's like, you don't- I mean, you, okay, imagine you're Elon Musk. I guess. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I guess I there's him. always the chance that this- the, he's such a super genius that he couldn't possibly leave enough notes. Bob, I- enough. I look at our fucked up hardware setup for Gigaboots, and I go, if I die, this shit just will be impossible to deal with. Probably. <laughs> Hey, here we go. We, we got Mega Man X. We're finally on the Super NES with these amazing looking graphics and beautiful colors. We're playing this on Super NT, the latest firmware, uh, 4.5, which has correct colors. Yay. The launch firmware didn't have correct brightness and also the colors were a little off because of it. Here, Bob, I've played this twice Yeah, I was gonna today. say, he's gonna, he's gonna make me play this. What gave you that I'm idea? okay with it. Yeah. And he's not. Bob's okay with rape. <laughs> <laughs> Him laughing is a sign that I didn't lie. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, the art's pretty good. Oh, I yeah. like that street perspective there below, below you, but then that street just disappears. Like it doesn't continue anywhere. It's true. That street appears, and it's a different color, and that's neat. I like what Maverick Hunter did with a lot of X. Yeah. I think Maverick Hunter's a really good game. I guess we'll have to play that. Later this month? Yeah. Oh, yeah, month. I'm pretty hyped. <laughs> I should, uh, sweet talk Firebrand X into uh, making some OSSC profiles for the PSP before that happens. He's like, oh, I don't own a PSP. And I'm like, what the fuck do you mean you don't own a PSP? <laughs> he doesn't own a PSP, come on. It's like, how many Patreon dollars do I have to throw at you before you buy an, uh, a PSP? <laughs> I'm not going down there, I don't need it. Yeah, you don't. You really don't. So, uh, fun fact, you guys. Our, uh, our Super NES was not balanced when it came to colors for that, uh, X2 Let's Play. And also, we had the pixel aspect ratio turned to 8 by 7 which is wrong, and you should not do that, evidently. <laughs> oh. You should have it set to 1 by one or set the whole image to a 4 by 3 generic. I clearly did not understand what was going on. <laughs> clearly. That's okay. Compared to Fiber and X, most people don't. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to retune our uh, OSSC for the Genesis videos we did. That uh, makes sense. Because the setting got lost at one point. In fact, if you upgrade the firmware at all, it wipes all your settings. Oh, that's, that's sad. That is, uh, the word for that's terrible. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it'd be great if they did it a, a uh, let's get out of here. Some sort of SD card solution, so you could just keep your keep your settings on that. And for those who don't know, the OSSC is an upscaler to turn your analog stuff into digital stuff, like uh, PSP component cables into an HDMI, or SCART RGB into an HDMI. I realize that I talk about this a lot on the channel, but I don't explain it very often. Right? No. Uh, and the You're like giving that bell nonsense. I never explained anything about networking. Oh man, I should just have a video that explains shit I talk about nonstop. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? That would be pretty funny. That would be hilarious and helpful. 
It could be an episode of Gigaboot's Tech Lab. <laughs> Is that the one where we eat the electronics? No, that's that's a Gigaboot's Eats Lab. Oh, oh, right, right. Beep, 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 back on up. Here we go. Weird. Some of the music there was like actually popping lightly in huh. the right channel. Bob, don't you love when video games make you lose a fight? Yeah, it always feels good. It's not just a complete waste of time, but whatever. It's supposed to be cool storytelling moment. He's not gonna defeat me. <laughs> Got that. <laughs> I like the sound, like, <laughs> there's just a light popping. Not like clipping pop, but like a little sound as soon as the buster shot hit him. <laughs> like, ah, jeez. You sure blew my arm off. Man, the uh, highlights on his cheeks kind of look like tears. But <laughs> they are just highlights. Yeah. yeah, same with Zero. That's kind of funny. Look, they're very, very robots. They're just, but their faces are like solid metal and very the, shiny. The weird thing... Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Uh, are, are you saying this is hentai sh sh shading? Where they do the... It's way too shiny of skin? No, I'm saying that their skin is literally like solid metal and doesn't look humanoid at all. But is it hot? That's no. what I'm asking. <laughs> it is not. This is important. I mean, I guess... I just came knows. from Wily Wars, and man, that teleporting sure feels... Speedy in this. <laughs> okay, Bob. Where are we going I mean, you go first? I'm going penguin. You always do. Okay. This is what you do, Because Dan. not being able to dash is fucking intolerable. Because <laughs> think about it, right? Pac Man 3 doesn't have vast expanses of ground to cover, and it has a slide. Mm -hmm. And every Mega Man since had a slide. And then this one comes out, and it's like, here's a whole bunch of shit to run across. Look. It's kind of like it's a, a lot of Woodman levels. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they, they were on something. Maybe Woodman had the best level. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty nice. Yeah. And rabbits and shit. Rabbit. Look at these. This has rabbits too. Just like this Woodman. Is, this is really nice. You know, I did a lot of our SNES tuning last year and finding out it was broken and all sorts of other stuff with this level. And it's just nice to see it look so good so effortlessly. So, right. once again, I would like to say Analog did a really great job with the Super NT. Firebrand X. Did a really great job with the feedback on the Super NT. You know, telling them how the colors weren't right. Right. Because he got his ahead of me. <laughs> <laughs> he got his, like, three days ahead of me. And I'm like, maybe he won't do every important test before I receive it. And then he did. And I was like, oh, man. <laughs> I should have seen this coming. Now I'm just a fucking freeloader. <laughs> like, contribute to the conversation. And I'm like... You know, normally I get to contribute something meaningful, but now I just didn't get to- You go, Steve Dave! <laughs> Tell him, Steve Dave! He's very well-centered. <laughs> <laughs> it's the rule of thirds. You need to keep absolutely everything important on screen in the left third of the left third. <laughs> yes, that's all you can use. The rest is just waste. Yeah, you, yeah, no. Can't put anything out there. Yeah, no, absolutely not. But yeah, no, this looks great. I'm so hyped to play Mega Man X2. <laughs> Cause I, we we just updated the firmware for this video. Right? I'm sorry, I'm gushing about how happy I am to see this in such a nice quality. And I'm gonna Dan can't be it. happy on channel, he, he knows just, that. I know. Otherwise the city of levels wouldn't be. <laughs> Actually, you know, there's a lot of complaining about a city of levels. Yes. There's, there's a certain tangent of the fandom that maybe doesn't appreciate them. Can, okay, so... No, there's no control screen. It's too bad the, um... The 8 bit can't reprogram buttons. Like, there's no... way to hook it up to your computer to reprogram what each input means. Huh. Because if that were a thing, yeah, we could th make dash R. Right, you'd think that'd be a thing. Man, this... this all looks nice. Do, 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 do. Gotta come back with flame. Yep. Do, do, do. We're going up there anyway, just to look at yeah, it? Yeah, just to skip the bottom. Yeah, fair. Because, you know, you know, less driving the robot, but it's fine. Running's cool too, I guess. I mean, we get the robot for uh, Stink Chameleon, and we might even play that far. Maybe. I mean, this is an enjoyable Mega Man. Let's. Oh, yeah, no, this is still one of my favorites. 
for sure. Yeah, is this your favorite X game? No, it has X4 exists. X, my favorite X game is off-road biking. You know that, Dan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's skateboarding. Why would you even kid? How you like my ice sculptures, Mega Man? Time for you to chill. You, you don't have the excuse of the. You're not Cut Man, and you never will be. The guys of the Mega Man original series. You aren't supposed to be some sort of just weird regular maintenance robot. Are you? Maybe you are. Maybe that's still the case. I don't know. He was an ice sculpted robot and he went crazy because he was like, Why am I a penguin? This is fucked! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh no! Straight through the heart. I am to blame. Yeah. <laughs> I gave Chill Penguin a bad name. Like, seriously, Chill Penguin? <laughs> but yeah, the use of color here and the use of the really great sprite work, this looks so much better than Wily Wars. Oh, it's yeah, no, ludicrous it's like... to think they're part of the same generation. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, do, do, so do, far do, removed. Do, 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 I look like an X-Men. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> kind of the color palette. Uh, are you gonna go to Spark? Sure, yeah, I'll do Spark Vandal. Okay. As I mentioned in the Let's Play, and I'll, I'll mention again here, my shtick is that I usually go to every level for every capsule, then I go. Yeah, that's Because that's fair. what I that, like. That's, that's also why in 6 I get the POW from Flame Man, like, and I then typically, go to Plant Man. I typically go to the Storm Eagle second, just because I want that. I want the headpiece, so I can... That is weird. The headpiece. Yeah, then I, I can guess go, so then you I go get, to Flame Mammoth. Go to Flame Mammoth for the... Yeah, yeah. that's true. Cause I, I, I guess, get yeah, I did that too. Yeah, I'd go to Chill Penguin and then Storm Eagle, cause Storm Eagle's not impossible with the Buster. You know, we we spend too much time getting too much guff about not going to these guys in the right order. And you know, point of Mega Man is you get to choose the order. That's right. Also, we really should have crashed a fucking plane into this place. Yeah, no, I, I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I've ever played this place while it's that power on. I'm like, what are these things hitting me? Why? <laughs> the dooms have come alive and are killing me! Oh, ye god! So, yeah. You don't have to do it in order. You just don't. Yeah. <laughs> That's a cheap shot if I've ever seen one. We also don't have Storm Eagle for the mini boss. Oh, man. That's actually a concern. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, it's me, Squintopus Steve. <laughs> Someone in the audience knows his real name, and they're very upset that I made oh, it's up. That's Big my Pets. Name. Oh yeah, that is Big Pets. <laughs> Everybody loves Big Pets. Now that's Bubble Pets. <laughs> Bubble Pets. Yeah. Is that Neo Pets, boss? <laughs> It came out that the creator of Neopets is a Scientologist or something. I forget what it was. He was either super right wing or a Scientologist. And the news article read, "Oh God, <laughs> it was so good. I, I laughed so hard because, of course, I didn't use Neopets. That ain't me. Yeah, I never got into Neopets either." Now for Cadia, <laughs> nothing weird about that guy. I actually, you know. When I was really young, I didn't realize there was anything weird or off. No, that was, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah like, no. it's gonna do it. No, no, he's taking the day off. <laughs> oh my god, that's yeah, the one. You're that's... supposed to just jump and hit the wall and then stay low for a sec. Um, but yeah, no, when I was really young, I didn't figure there was anything off about it. I just thought it was a cool place to use an avatar to walk around in a world and talk to people. Yeah, I didn't know about Furcadia until you you brought it up. We used were, it for a video. Yes, yeah, used it for a video. I was like, what the heck is this? Right. I'm I blame X. my brother. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. That's an awesome effect. Oh my god. So I wiggle out of those, I don't just dash. Oh my god. This is going so badly. I feel really dumb. It's okay. This isn't like one of your favorite though. Right? This isn't like your favorite Mega Man. It's game. one of my favorites, and it's I'm doing terribly because I never do this. Like I never go in you this weird order. You never, you never fight him at his fullest. You're the worst Goku I've ever heard of. 
Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's just sneaking up on on Spark Manage rolling his sleep with a fucking dagger and he's like hee. <laughs> it's my thing. Well, you apparently want to knock the lights out on his place and sneak into the dark and stab him in the chest. Yeah. No, that is my thing, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't stop gushing. This fucking looks great. <laughs> See, this is why... This is why using, like, an analog NT makes sense, right? Like, sure, you could get this looking pretty good on Keegan. But it's not... It doesn't feel as responsive. Like, it's impossible. Maybe, maybe ice hurts him. Do we know? I don't think it does. You're, you're welcome to spend the entire boss's weakness on him, because I, I've never, I've never done it. God, he just, he just wrecked you. Yeah. He's a, he's, he's kind of a big guy. Yeah. Do you want me to try this? Sure. I'm... I don't know if I'm going to get past him. I say we do it the way you're talking about. Like, if I wipe, you know? Yeah. Then we can just totally go to uh, Storm Eagle and then Flame Mammoth. All right. Because I, I, too, like having the arm uh, yeah, enhancement. Get, getting that as soon as possible? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Uh, you know, it's good to have it maybe a little bit more before the final thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that. Yeah, yeah it is, it's I very counterintuitive, right? Here we go, tiny health bar. Jeez. <laughs> Definitely better at getting out of those than I am. Yeah, it's mostly a D-pad thing. You're supposed to be, like, spazzing the D-pad a lot like that. Right. And then maybe also hitting jump and dash and... But yeah, he's he's taking a lot of hits. It's like one of those classic Mega Man original series mini-bosses, you know? Right. Where they take a ton of fucking damage unless you have the right weapon. Oh, oh <laughs> he's lost his damn mind. I'm gonna make him go all out up in here. All right, you did it. Cool. Uh, I, I guess I should have noted before, we took off the sprite limiting uh, that is intrinsic to the Super NES. And mm -hmm. the uh, Super NT allows it to have 64 sprites on screen at once, so a lot of the explosion stuff is going to look a little bit more solid than uh, usual. Which is neat. It is really neat. Oh, man. Come on now. This is probably your last life, too. Pretty sure. Huh. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna have that Metal Gear Solid 3 mode of dying to a random alligator in a swamp. <laughs> it's a great moment. Oh no! Stay away! <laughs> Don't you fucking look at me! <laughs> ba -na 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 -na. Jeez, it's good tight. All right. None of them are giving me health. No, they're not dropping anything. There's no way I'm gonna no-hit Spark Mandrel. I know he's a chump, but still. It's a bit much to ask from me. <sighs> you can do it, Dan. There yeah. Three. Yeah. <laughs> Three lines. Do 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 do. Oof. I'm sure not. These guys don't do three lines damage, right? <laughs> I'm sure Spark Mandrel doesn't either. No, he definitely wouldn't. He's a he's a gentleman. And by that he means he's he's a gentleman. He can't do much damage. He's too. He's so weak. Yes. Okay. Don't know how I wasn't hit by that, but I am perfectly fine with that conclusion. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> That's the ideal, right? When input latency really matters. <laughs> Because I just barely saw and reacted to that in time on a wired SNES controller. Right. Past this, input latency-wise, it's original SNES on a fucking PVM. We never asked that guy at uh, Red Junk if we could check out stuff on his PVM. No, we didn't. We were kind of caught up in, oh man, we should get out of here because it's really... 
Because there's too much Saturn. Oh. Yeah, he would never do three lines of damage. He would never do that. <laughs> never. That was a depressing waste of time. Yeah. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, I wasted all our lives there. He's just, he's not used to having to try it while breaking and entering to someone's home. <laughs> no. It's okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get these parts. Here, I'm gonna let you take this. Okay. Because you, you got cheated on that last level. Everyone's <laughs> looking at you and they're like, this guy does, doesn't even know, he doesn't even know Proto Man's in this game. <laughs> what? That's what they're like. <laughs> Look at all this parallax. Really, it's just two layers. <laughs> I was like, I was like, um, there's not a whole lot. <laughs> Look, man, I was looking at the background trying to find parallax. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, really? If anyone's to blame here, Dan, for the fact that guy knocked me off my ass, it's you. Stop talking about the game. <laughs> I don't want to look at the game. I want to look at my ass to make sure he doesn't knock me off it. Oh my god, what? Well, you you dashed off it ever so slightly. And then when you hit jump, you were close enough to the platform. <laughs> it's good, we're fine. We got this. Yes, we can. There we go. Look at all that health. This is a lot of health. Did yeah. you know gaming? Heart capsules give you two extra lines of health. Whoa. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> There we go. Starting a new channel called We're Genuinely Curious. We're genuinely curious whether or not you were cognizant of this fact in gaming. <laughs> Such a weird secret. Yeah, I think it's cool. Yeah, it's neat. Heat tank, yay. Sub tank. So, so somehow, yeah. Minakuchi, en Minakuchi Engineering gets to make X2 part of it in secret, and X3. Was X1 an all Capcom effort? And how common was that back then? Because Mega Man 7 was apparently being made by an external developer, and things went to shit. So they turned that into a real Mega Man game in three months. Yeah, I don't know, man. I mean, was... Mega Man is some real murky territory. Right, you'd think with X, especially, they'd be like, no, we need to keep this in-house because we were reinventing the series. And then they could- And then they did like... it, and then they did it with, like, X2 and X3. Well, they, the again, whole... those weren't reinventing it, those were no, just more- No, but th that was the next step! That's like if they outsourced Mega Man 2, Bob! Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> I think that's truly crazy. It's like you're trying to make- You're trying to make a brand name out of something. Uh-huh. You're not gonna... <sighs> we don't have the fire stick, so it takes forever. Okay. Uh. Um... You're trying to make a household name out of something. You're trying to make a brand out of a product. Mm -hmm. And you outsourced the second in the line? Yeah. There you go. That's the ticket. Imagine Apple making the Mac, right? Yeah. And then the Mac 2 is just outsourced entirely. That's insane. You know, it's crazy. It's a... Man, you can shoot way faster than this than in Wily Wars or the Game Boy titles. Oh, yeah. Mega oh, good. man, I'm trapped in here. <laughs> I'm definitely dead, trust me. I was a ghost, and this thing kidnapped me. Ghostbusters got my ass. <laughs> I always thought the, the pixel look on those was really weird. A lot of things have a very smooth gradient in comparison, but those just... You could see each and every pixel on them. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's very weird. If you hear rustling, it's because Tosh realized she left her switch power adapter on the other side of the room. It is time for Splatoon. <laughs> important information from Dan. This is important. <laughs> hey, look, a one-up that I don't need to go through, like, a mountain to get sh of shooting to get... Yeah. Look, we're trying to save up. It's important. <laughs> He's like... <gasps> <laughs> oh, no! 
I do think it's a really good Metar. Like, we were talking about how we need to do top Metars. Yeah, yeah. I think the X one is really good. Definitely well drawn, for sure. Like, his expressiveness. You got this, Bob. There's no way Storm Eagle does three damage. Yeah, no way. He's definitely weaker than that Spark Mandrill guy. <laughs> Those guys were never fracking. Don't, don't go through the door. I don't know the secret way, Dan. Okay, Here you go. I'm gonna do go it. Go for it. Because I love it. It's the best. Yeah! Like that! Cool. All boss, no door. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. It's a good sound effect. I love it. They have such a good mastery of tone. <laughs> yeah! He's gonna puke at you. I can't remember any robot master using a weapon that pushes you. Yeah, no. I think everything they did hurt you. If you're listening with stereo headphones, you can tell which way he's coming from. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, they, they hard pan pretty thoroughly in Mega Man X here. Which is cool. Like, it's nice that they're using stereo to help you, as a player, inform you. Right. God. It's dangerous to do that. It is dangerous to do that very poorly. Yes. You know, with how little Bob was moving, I was sitting here legitimately concerned Bob can't hear stereo. It's like, maybe his ears can't... <laughs> You know, all you have to do is just dash the opposite direction. Oh, does that work? Yeah. He doesn't heat seek. I saw he did. No. Come back here and die. <sighs> it's fine. Yeah, it's way safer. Yeah. You got this. Shoot him! Oh, yes! <laughs> Tormi was a little too into that. He's like, open your eyes, exit, my eyes are over. This is a really concerning ending. <laughs> yes. I'm sure everyone's fine! <laughs> <laughs> you got professional negligence! Dex, <laughs> why didn't you even try to stop the plane? <laughs> What plane? <laughs> you don't even know. No. Nope. I thought you were the first robot that could think. <laughs> I can think. No one said well. <laughs> Joke's on you, Wiley. <laughs> I was like, Jesus, I spent forever making a robot that's like really brilliant and beautiful as hell. And then Light just shit this guy out. <laughs> But he thinks he's got good ideas, so I guess that's something. <laughs> X is like, I'm more of an idea guy. <laughs> <laughs> don't even care about all that. Why would I? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll be easy if you don't charge, yeah. They did make this jump Is real there a hard. smarter way to do this? I've never known one. Right, no, I, have, I haven't either. I've always just done this, and they're like, man, why is this so tough to get? I don't know, but it, it just seems like a mistake. Right? I don't think there's a single power that makes it easier to jump, you know? Right. Be until you get the charge. Oh, yeah, yeah, because the charge would let you use the Shell Penguins thing. Yeah. But it if you recall, you actually get the uh, Buster from Zero in this. Oh. oh, no. Is that impossible now? Yeah, it's impossible now. Yeah, that's the best part. This is the uh, best part of Mega Man X1. 
I feel like I should watch some speedruns. Some guy has to have some ideas, right? Like there's gotta be something here that we're just missing. And have for years. I would hope. I would really hope. So, do we just hit exit and... You can't exit oh, right, at a level ex you haven't beaten. It's true. I wanted to have to kill myself for two more lines of damage. This is important. Yes. I'm really excited for Bloodstain later this year. How about you, Bob? Yeah, it'll be amazing. I feel like Bloodstain and Mega Man 11 coming out in the same year makes this year better than last year. <laughs> Probably. Which, uh, <laughs> it's hard to do because I have a very soda. I mean, we had so much last year. We had everything on the Switch. Yeah, it's true. That's really all you have to say to just emphasize how amazing last year was. For example, uh, my personal game of the year, ARMS. <laughs> uh, Dan? Yeah. I don't think that's right. Uh, pretty sure I would know what my game of the year is, Bob. <laughs> pretty sure you've said uh, otherwise, but okay. I feel like maybe you're just calling to call out that Joe Neely guy. Every fucking time. <laughs> That's what I get for not just holding A forever while doing these uh, side hops. Oh wait, you have to push at the same time every time. Yeah, this is uh, obnoxious and this uh, quick play is so bad I'm tempted to just end it here. <laughs> After the spark mandrel thing and now this. Yeah, it's uh, pretty doing, rough. We're doing pretty bad here. Which I feel that, really that bad let's about. Play, that let's play. That let's play went way better. Didn't we do two let's plays and both of them went better? Yes. I don't know how. Right? Like, we we've just, been... I, I beat... I think that part of it's... I'm now, like, so in tuned with Big Ben original. Oh, no, don't, don't even scapegoat the original. <laughs> Fine, go ahead. Go ahead yeah, and scapegoat yeah, maybe, it. Maybe that's it. Maybe we've been playing too much Big Ben original. So come back to X. Take a second to get, get used to it again. But Jesus, Dan. I got What's that? I got a little carried away. <laughs> I was like smashing it so hard. So really my problem was I should have just smashed the shit out of my jump button. Yes. To crawl up a single block wide. Yes. A thing I wasn't sure I could do. Now you got hands. You got arms. Yeah, I guess it's all right. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. I thought it was your game of the year. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's all right. Yeah, that's how I feel about 2017. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's all right. I think it takes a little too long to charge that. It does. It is a little bit much, but it's still good once you do. Yeah, but only in situations where the way it's powerful is uh, Meaningful. beneficial. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, like, the plasma shot next four... It's always good. ...is amazing. <laughs> Whoosh! I mean, and then if this year also has a new Devil May Cry game, oh man, no, it's just best year ever. <laughs> Let's just have yeah, to see. No. Yeah, no, yeah, no, you'd never be able to top it. Plus, <laughs> there's that mobile Castlevania game. Oh yeah, joy of joy. Multiplayer. In that mobile. They found something I'm even less interested in than Harmony of Despair. <laughs> that mobile. A mobile Platinum games game. Harmony of Despair that doesn't even have pixel art. <laughs> But what were you saying? There's also that mobile Phantom Games game. I'm sure that'll oh, be man, great. I fucking forgot about that. Is it just a video that's come out so far? Yeah. It's just a video. It's just a kid. Oh, there's Cypher Hammer Joe. Yeah, I don't... Weirdo Joe. I forget what they call him. Because it's in the credits. Oh, yeah? Of course it is. <laughs> that was the credits scene for X2. Ignore that. Something tells me on this run through we're not going to get to the credits. What <laughs> that idea? It's just already going so great that I feel like we don't need to. Oh, yeah. That's a uh, pretty good point. Beep, 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 Having beep. so many frames beep, beep, it gives beep, you lots beep, of beep, options beep. for poses to be in when you go through that door. I really like that. Yeah. That's not... <laughs> You got him, Dan. Don't let him tell you otherwise. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, uh, pretty easy with his weapon. Admittedly, I would have gotten Spark Mandrel with his if I could take even a hit. Right. But that's not what that was about. <sighs> you told me that guy wouldn't do three lines of damage. <laughs> I did. I was lying I to you. Very, I'm sorry. I feel very betrayed. <laughs> I'm gonna work on here. Oh yeah, I'm get the, all the armor. Get the armor. Look, if there's one thing we can do with this run, evidently, get the armors. Get the armors. 
I guess I can play it? Yeah, sure. You take on that uh, robot that you have so much experience beating. You love fighting that guy. I, I have fought him a lot. I mean, I just did it very poorly. <laughs> just kidding. It's fine. You got this. <laughs> At least you have pink shot. Right? That uh, will help? Uh, I don't use the pink shot. I mean, generally, I wait until I have, like, Spark Mandrill's weapon. Recently, anyway. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Because you were telling me that the wind would hurt him more, and then it just didn't. And that made the, the fight take even longer. He's lying. Yeah, yeah but remember, so right, I, I beat this guy at least on one of those playthroughs. Yes, I, I think you're right. Do you think this guy's name is Big Pets? Yeah, definitely. He wants to pet you. <laughs> He's really big into pets. Petsing. He's really big into heavy petting. <laughs> There's just something a little, a little weird about him. Whoa, I did not mean to do that. So you can get hit in this game and continue to charge. Okay. That is a thing, so right? It, so it, yeah, I think so. We'll Don't do worry, I'm sure you'll get hit enemy. while charging. Eventually. I don't know, man. I still think the uh, tornado is pretty cool. And it's fine. You you can just spend forever doing this. <laughs> this is this is a really big guy. Maybe his name's Big Guy. Big guys instead of big big pet. No, just big guy. Hmm. Oh man, he just jumped the whole screen that time. I didn't really expect it. He's pretty good at jumping. He's big into that too. <laughs> big jumps. Big big jumps, big nips. He's into a lot of stuff. Is he zero? Yes. <laughs> and now Dan's remembering some source filmmaker stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Beep 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 beep. He's a very elaborate enemy. You know, not just the amount of moves they gave him, but like his patterns and how much health he has. Yeah, no, they gave him a ton of health. An irrational amount, really. Look, they didn't know what they were gonna do with him, so they designed him and then they realized this isn't a robot master. I mean, British. honestly, it kind of looks like it's a robot master. Uh, shoot. You hit the shoot button. It's weird, I know. Okay. Well, you started charging before you stopped flashing, so I'm gonna count that. Oh yeah, no, no, it, I def I'm definitely holding the charge when I'm hit. Okay, cool. Cause you know, older Mega Man games, they don't like that, right? <laughs> don't shoot me, ah! <laughs> Is that why he ghosted? Yeah, yeah, he just had to get out of there quick. I really don't like his armor as much in this. I, I, I think, think it's, it's cool. I think it's way better in X2. I just, and it's sort of better in X3. I don't really like the hit right hands. Uh, really? I think that's one of the best parts. Was there? Yeah. Okay, yeah, it is here. But, but there's no water. Right, so we can't do it yet. Yeah, because I don't think the sled is quite enough to make that jump. Oh, yeah, and because, because you haven't, like, flooded the place, these guys are still here, I guess. I don't know. Think that's what's up? I don't know. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Maybe those guys are always there. I bet they're always there. Probably. I don't I know. Ignore me. This don't don't listen to Dan. Dan does not have a comprehensive knowledge of any Mega Man game. He just knows a lot of shit he likes about them. Like for example, did you know X3 requires you to backtrack over ten years? <laughs> Oh, you want uh, you want the golden armor, huh? Hope you like revisiting levels. Man, X1, about as generous as Mega Man 6 with the lives. <laughs> uh, it is pretty generous. I don't know if it's that generous. <laughs> the, enemies like, are less prone to drop them. <laughs> right, like, <laughs> I haven't seen 10 drop from enemies in this one level. <laughs> That'd be pretty great, though. <laughs> Bob uses sub tank, does not refill sub tank. <laughs> Bob, baby boomer video games. 
Hey, I've been filling it throughout this level. It's fine. It's fine. We didn't need yeah, that one. Yeah, it went for full to half full. You did a great job with the economy. <laughs> <laughs> yes. This background looks very NES. What a uh, what weakness was he? Because it's 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 you don't have it. Yeah, you okay. don't have it. All right, so we we're doing this. Ooh. Keep in mind, a lot of the time, so the Duke's kid, up. I would just kill myself to get out of the level, <laughs> just so I could enjoy going through in the right order with all the capsules. Bam, 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 bam. Boys, 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 boys. Boys, 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 boys. Boys, 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 boys. You almost got him. Yeah. He he could have been right next to you. Bam, 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 bam. No, he wasn't really there, even though he was he was actually there. He just was invisible, so I should have still heard him. Yeah. Look. Don't ask. Hmm. I'm like, is this the best game we've played this month? So far? That's complicated. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to compare original series and X series. I feel like the... The thing with X1 is that there's a lot of places where I feel like it's not as polished level design-wise, contrary to what Ego Raptor says. Um... <laughs> where like five and six kind of get it done. Like by then, they had fully learned how you make a Mega Man original series level, you know? <laughs> Good to eat true warriors uptake. Yeah. Now you're a baby boomer. Yeah, there we go. Now that's what I call real estate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got him. And He's also was... pretty into it. <laughs> All these ah! robots are too into it, okay? He shot Sting Chameleon, and he was at least this loud. Oh! <laughs> so, if Warlick is to be believed, mm -hmm. in Japan, the Robot Masters are just called Wily Numbers. Huh. Which is fucked, because not all those robots are his. In yeah, fact, right. a lot of them aren't. Most of our soul in reprogrammed, so that is really weird. Yeah. Um, Hope nobody as, takes this. And as we know, Mavericks, we're called Irregulars. Yes. You're hunting the Irregulars. Okay, so I can actually go to a lot of people. Or really, I can just go to him. Right. Because <laughs> what, his weakness killed Sting Kami- er, <laughs> I'm pointing at him, and I still call him Sting <laughs> Sting Chameleon killed, uh, Storm Eagle, who killed Flame Mammoth, who killed Flat Chill Penguin, who was supposed to kill. Yeah, so we've closed the loop. Okay. Now we're supposed to do it in regular order. Here we go. Get it? The regular order? He's doing the uh, fighting irregulars, irregulars. Yeah. in the regular order? I gotta regulate them. Okay. <laughs> We still don't have the- It's just as beautiful. I like what you've done with the place. <laughs> we still don't have the Boomer for Wanger thing, so we can't get the sub-tank. Yeah. Hey, at least it's at the entrance, bro. Yeah, that's true. It ain't no X3. Isn't there, like, I feel like the Zero Project also fixes the mech problem in X3. Oh, man, where it you does. To... Maybe we just play that version instead. Yeah, I, I think we should. Yeah. I feel like that- that may back up a city as claim that it's the best. Because, <laughs> you know, that thing fixes the problem. Right, like, that that game has a lot of weird problems like that. Man, it's like I played through this level. No way. How come I get to play the same level twice? Can we talk about that? <laughs> Now you got the armor to make you take less damage, and you have more health. Yeah. It's good. I, I don't know how I feel about X Games where there's armor to make you take less damage. It's almost it is, like they, they balance it for that a little bit. Right? Like, it's kind of crazy that the mid-boss was doing that much damage. Yeah. I mean, he just gets... He's such a chump. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. Then I feel like it is... Kind of, you know. It's easy it's to them not fi balance it well. Right, it's them figuring it out because it's the first time they've done something like it. Right, and that's that's what I'm talking about. Of like, I, I feel like there's some small things in X1. It's a great game, 
But in some ways, X2 and X3 sort of... They learn interesting things you can do, like platforming-wise and all sorts of other stuff that... I feel like X1 doesn't know. I, I, I feel like once... Once you start getting into Sigma's palace in this one, right? Uh huh. There's not a not as much interesting platforming as there is the world's worst first level because <laughs> of the jumping between floating platforms above a. a oh pit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that thing's a nightmare. Yeah. It is. Um. And yeah, past that, I I can't remember platforming being a significant part of it at all. Yeah, I think that's the fight robot masters. The air dash is a really neat thing. That definitely oh, yeah. adds some stuff to the oh, series. Oh, yeah, definitely. I wasn't even thinking of that when I was saying that, by the way. I was just thinking, like, when when you're going through um, the castle in 2, mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of, like, okay, hold on to the side of this floating platform yeah, underwater. Yeah, they did, did make use of that. Yeah, there's, it's, it's, a, it's a good game. And that's why I, play, I played it more than X1. Bah! <laughs> bah! And it turns out uh, ah! I could only ever get with X1. I don't know why. It's, no. it's really hard to find X2 and 3. That is tragic. <laughs> Look, Bob, I don't know what your gaming interests were as a kid, but one could easily say I had one. <laughs> <laughs> and it was Mega Man. Castlevania was neat. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed Castlevania. But fucking, it did not place compared to Mega Man for me. Right. I am close. Boys, boys! Here you go, Bob. All right. You can take us to uh, Armored Armadillo. Armored Armadillo. He has such good music, you know? Yeah, he does. For sure. I feel like... I'm also pretty critical on the music in X1. I feel like X2 has some really amazing music. Like, like Crystal Snail and Flame Stag have some really amazing I mean, that, stolen themes. They're good themes and all, I'm just, but this doesn't mean that X1 is bad. Like, I feel oh, like yeah. they do a really no, good job. When, I feel like... This is one of the better themes in X1. Like, it has a lot of variety. Um... We, you said to me here so people can laugh at me again, right? What? Why would... Did people laugh at you in our first Let's Play? I, I kept walking into the, uh, the minecart. Oh my god, I forgot about the box gift! <laughs> forgot box made a gift for that moment. No, I did not set that up. Technically, by... Man, look at all this. By getting wrecked by Spark Mandrill and handing me a, a deficit from which I never recovered. Yes. You set yourself up for this. <laughs> Bob's gonna be on edge this entire <laughs> level. He's like, please don't be gift worthy. <laughs> I already have that whole uh, Spark Mandrill level to be gift worthy, so I can't, that's, can't say anything. I mean, I don't already. know that there's anything there that's gift worthy. You getting bodied by a mini boss, I don't know. Yeah, his weakness is technically the uh, flame ability. Uh, you do have it. You should really use it. Oh wait, yeah, we do. We yeah. Because remember the last time we did this, and I was like, you should really use that. You wouldn't, and then I showed you using it. And you were like, Jesus Christ! Because you know it's. Yeah, it's ludicrous. Uh, there yet was, again, there's. There was, yeah. 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 It's the second one. There's nothing behind. And killing him early this time doesn't actually get you much. Yeah. I think it's yeah. like a little bit of health. Ba 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 You know, the, the sprites for, uh... Oh, Metard sorry. Are... Mega Man and Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, now then. What? The sprites for Sonic are... First, for, uh, <laughs> the Metards are real good, but they're not... They're just not wearing, um... There's no gimmick. No circles. Yeah, Look, there's no I get gimmick. it. There's no gimmick. So, they're they, really good. They are good. They're so good. <laughs> so good they put them on the password screen. Put everyone on the password screen. And that's true. <laughs> okay. Moment of truth. I did it! Yeah, boy! This is really cool. Oh yes, no, I, I think uh, Armored Armadillo stage is really incredible. For the time? Yeah. Like, oh man. Boom, boom, boom. And this solo? Alright. Yeah, no, that's fucking Rexum. Wait a sec. Oh, okay, he didn't drop anything. Boom, 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 boom. And then that art? 
of it like going into the distance. Yeah, it's neat. That's good. It does. It is like super huge, though. If you think about that, like that has to be the biggest mine entrance ever. Yeah. <laughs> they uh they had a boring machine, a giant boring machine. <laughs> Giant boring machine sounds like an Xbox One. Uh. Bazinga! <laughs> yeah. Nothing's up here. No. Nope. No subs. Not enough subs. Too Hadouken. What is the weakness again? Spark? Yeah, yeah, Spark. <laughs> Man, I was like, who's in here? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you even lift? <laughs> He's really muscular, you know? He, <laughs> he felt <No>. compact. <laughs> like corned beef. <laughs> so, I'm gonna have to ask you to be cognizant of iframes. No. Maybe distance yourself, oh well. <laughs> yes, I'm doing it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's moving so fast it merely looks like the enemy's hitting him. He's he's a total Goku. So yeah, that I keep remembering that thing Brent Skinner drew for us, where it's like, <laughs> man, this is the gun coming out yeah, because I like that because, guy. Because because he got the power of armored armadillo. Yeah, and th that power is having your head head pop open and have a gun. It's really good art. I'm the smartest machine ever. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's just a gun in your head. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why see, you thought that. See that they're on that screen. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, and they pop right. up. For some reason, I was thinking the, uh, the, the password screen from X2. From, and, uh, inch from 7. Oh, yeah, 7, that's not it. So, from the ones that are way better than this. Yeah, good point. Hottest Ma take. Mega Man 7, seven is, better is better than, than X1. X1? That's Hot insane. Take. I, that's insane. I'm, okay, I will fucking die in this ill. I think 7's music is better than X1's. Crazy. 7's music is incredible. I the mean, only theme that's kind of mediocre is Sh uh, Shade Man. Which... You know, yeah, you can that's why you can Timothy. replace it with Ghosts and Goblins. I mean... <sighs> Oof. Bam, bam, bam. You know what? We're gonna hold this controller with the PlayStation hook, as they call it, overseas. Yeah, I was doing that earlier. Just, it, I really wish that the dash button was in a different place. Wow! <laughs> yeah, take off his helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Lamp, whatever Man, it was. That's a really great animation. I love how you're hung up on you said the wrong thing. Yeah. It's like 20 seconds later. And you're I like, know. Well, once Dan stops singing, I'm I'm gonna correct it, and then people won't think I'm done. Dan anymore. will never stop singing. I've learned Th that. This is true. <laughs> We're playing a Mega Man game. Like, <laughs> I would like to know. Yeah, like. Oh, oh damn chump video games um like mr feel was talking about quite a while ago and i i also agree amazing music can really help a game mm -hmm. you know um for sure i'm not saying sonic the hedgehog or Mega Man are bad games i'm just saying they're both my favorite games from my childhood and they both have really incredible music Right, because if a good game is... If a bad game is made better by good music, so is a good game. Oh my god, Dan. Yeah, I know, I'm that impressive. That should have killed you. You saw the spikes were in you. No, they weren't. Gonna stop, ride it up. Stop spreading fake news. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, no, this looks beautiful. Look at the greens in the... Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just, this is great. Uh, as you can understand, as a kid, my setup was maybe not as good as this. What? No way. I mean, you didn't even have stereo speakers. No, I didn't. It's bad. You set it up like you did, though. <laughs> I'm a smart so guy. We, uh... You we gotta... kill that guy yeah, and he yeah. falls down yeah. and does the... Okay. Get... Not good enough. Yeah, the, the, the first one's easier to get it. You mean the beginning? Yeah, that this this one. Yeah, <laughs> the first <laughs> one of. You jump this. on top and choose something on him. I'm trying to like jump, but it wouldn't let me for a bit there. Yeah. I had to cover it because the the instruments disappeared. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so many cool secret passes. Yeah, no, that's that's awesome. 
Hey, what did we, was it, was it tornado? It might have been. I feel like there was something that just completely destroyed him though. I thought it was tornado. Yeah, it okay. was tornado. Well then, we're done here. <laughs> My head explodes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be do be do be do be do be do be do be. See, it's kind of like the whale from uh, Mega Man Six. A fight. Sorry, Mega Man Four. Mega, Mega Man Four. Four. Bam, bam, bam. From Dive Man, your favorite. Your boy. Sure. Sounds like, based on audio, he's coming out here. Cool. That helped. <laughs> Thanks, stereo audio. <laughs> Hashtag privilege. <laughs> I'll just wait here. Cool. Bam 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 bam. Bam bam bam. It's fish. pretty cool that the SNES can like put a filter over the graphics. Like it tints everything blue. Yeah, yeah, it's neat. It's a helpful effect when you're trying to make a 16-bit game. Right, as it turns out. If I remember the 32X still can do that. Uh hey Dan. You want to try his weakness, maybe? <laughs> I was like, he didn't grab a uh, Boomerang Winger, so what do you even do? Yeah, the fact you think that so often. I mean, he lopped what is his your limbs off. I get that, but like your boss order couldn't have been that. I think it kind of was. Wow. I think it was like, okay, I got the armor. It's time to go to Boomerang Winger. I mean, he has great music. He does. I still think Seven has really great music. The Wily Castle sucks though. I think it was Rom Ram who was bringing up that was their least favorite part, their least favorite song. Yeah, I need it, to. It is just ripping off another one, bites the dust. Weird. Yeah, it, it goes do 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 do. And I'm like, come on. Weird. Are you fucking vanilla ice. <laughs> yes. Boys, boys. People are like, ne for next for next year's Mega May, and I'm like. I turned a thousand years older because I'm sitting here Bob 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 holy shit That said back there. I shit you not horming torpedo torpedo Horming <laughs> torpedo Toming it's fine. horming 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 nah like What <laughs> Here you go you get to yet again Yet again, you get to play two of the best levels. Uh-huh. You get fucking Armored Armadillo and Boomer Quanger. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'll just sit here and enjoy my uh, Monster Energy Gronk. Ugh. You can have some if you want. No, it smells awful. Like, just, just having it open near me is really gross. Oh, okay. I'll just <laughs> start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Bob said he didn't like the smell of my energy drink, so I became an alcoholic. <laughs> Good. That's ideal. <laughs> You're peak Mega Maker right now. <laughs> cool level. See ya. <laughs> Admittedly, we're taking half damage. That's part of why we could even do that. Right. X just doesn't have rush yet. We can't just cheese everything. You're right. If only it had treble boost. <laughs> so we could just fly. <laughs> Bam 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 bam. This was uh, my favorite song from this game as a kid. Yeah. Yep. Arm Cannon did a really good cover. Um, but yeah, I think the music in the X series gets better um, as it, over the next three installments. <laughs> oh my god, you were so. Oh my god. I was like, I hit it twice, and it wasn't quite close enough to do the dash. Oh, you do, you, you're do, using the D-pad. Yeah, the D-pad dashing has never been ideal. No. Yeah, I rely on it so much, because I'm like, I don't have that third finger to... <laughs> to, you know, reach this uh, yeah. dash button. Because you yeah. put it in the wrong place. <laughs> you put... <laughs> Your control scheme's wrong. What it is? Oh, be charging always. But also, yeah, have the that's dash. That's why you uh, loop your index finger around. Yeah, yeah. No, that's What's my, the problem? that's psychotic. No, that's that is legitimately just, what I did as a kid. It's awful. I did the claw. You want to be good? Then fucking get good. That's uh, 
That's how I felt. Years later, when that was, like, uh, what was it? Classified as a, a PlayStation hand or PlayStation hook. Mm hmm. Because they were getting a lot of physical injuries in uh, the UK uh, for people who stress their wrist doing that. I was like, oh, weird. I, I kind of didn't do that as much by PlayStation. Do that screen up. Let me see what's coming. It's Mega Man on Game Gear. Gear on <laughs> SNES Works. <laughs> Got him. I really do need to just run a YouTube channel that's an ironic parody of every YouTube channel. Like, gaming channel. Right. I, I think doing a Jeremy Parrish parody channel would be rich. Probably. For one, we'd have to uh, really mess up our setup here <laughs> to make it look like that. We'd have to buy another SNES. <laughs> it's a weird way to go about it, but okay. Hey, we have to... It doesn't need to be that I'm going to authentic. replicate it. Down to every nuance. God. So what sport are you gonna say no one actually likes? <laughs> Cause that's the best thing, that's the most thing I remember about Jeremy Parrish. So Bob was in the room while I was watching a review of uh, Game Boy Works. I, I I watched Jeremy Parrish's channel. I, I enjoy it. Um but like I enjoy it the same way I enjoy a lot of things where it's like it's informative. Bob, you you, you use the ice sled. Yeah. You go indoors. <laughs> um, but I was watching a review for bowling on Game Boy. They made a bowling game for the Game Boy. And Jerry Parrish says one of the weirdest things I've heard him say, which he, he has a habit of doing this. Just every so often he'll he'll say a sentence that just knocks you, he floors you. You know? Right. You're like, what the fuck? How do you even say shit like that? You know, hashtag gamer or journalist game journalism problems. <laughs> In any case, he goes, no one actually enjoys bowling. They just do it for the social element. So why would you make a game replicating it? And I was just like, who is this psychopath? <laughs> and that's basically what Bob's reaction was too. But I was, I was pretty used to Jeremy by that point. You know, right. I was, I was pretty I, used I was to not that part of his personality. There for uh, anything else. So that was your introduction to him. But yeah, we would have to uh, buy a Frame Meister, oh, get another SNES that's not as clean, and then use Super Game Boy and leave all the uh, orders up. What is his uh, weakness? Man, where were we just now? I don't remember, man. <laughs> <laughs> Is it weird that two bosses in X1 disappear and appear in different places? Like they couldn't just figure out cool ways for them to move? What are you talking about? One of them, like you can see the, the invisible him walking around. You're right, and the other one just teleports. That's different from teleporting where you can see where he's going. Yeah. And that it's more annoying to deal with, so you better have the homing weapon. Sorry, <clears throat> horming weapon. Yes. Does it actually say that? I'm losing my mind. How could I have not noticed it was Horming Torpedo? We did two Let's Plays on this channel alone. <laughs> it's fine. It probably never said that. Yeah, let's just pretend it didn't say it. It was the sink. Yeah, yeah, the uh, wash dishwasher is gone. <laughs> um. What's up? Yeah, that... Something. So this is the one that actually had the thing called Torpedo. And you keep freaking out at me for calling that thing in uh, regular Mega Man a missile. Or rocket or whatever it is. It's not Torpedo. As long as you're clear, this is Torpedo. Torpedo just flies around. It isn't a Torpedo either. Where's, where's Sigma? Oh, he's in this corner. Sigma's the audience surrogate right now. He's like, will you two stop all of this? <laughs> Should we, should we go get that stuff or just stare at the Sigma face and end the video? I like that. Okay, real quick though, something important to note here. What's that? Mega Man 5, Mega Man does the lip thing he does in Mega Man DOS, and in X1, Sigma's now doing it in the center of the screen. 
There's oh my a, god. There's a weird, long storied history of that weird face. Mega Man DOS Mega Man is actually Sigma. We finally figured it out. Man, he lost a lot of weight and got jacked as shit. Yeah, no, he got tired of people insulting him. Was it X? Was it DOS 1 or DOS 2? I bet they're both the same. I feel like with DOS 2, 3 did that more. Sorry, yes, yes, yes. There is no DOS 2. I meant the first DOS or the second DOS. But yeah, yeah, no, that's gotta be the same guy. Yeah. He got really thin. Yeah. And by thin, I mean huge. And at some point, he had a stroke. Well, obviously, before all of this. <laughs> yeah, so before all of he this. He has a Stallone situation going on. Maybe he's supposed to look like Stallone. Maybe. Mixed Maybe. with Bruce Willis. He's, I guess Stallone does have a pretty defined chin. Yeah. And the bald head comes from Willis. Yeah. This Ratchet's video was brought to you by Radical Executive Producers. Vincent Pover. Sidewell. Nicholas Cameron. And the Bros. Joshua Madley, Brendan O'Sullivan, Tyson Tractor, Star Falcon, Spaceman Spit, Shadow in the Darkness, and Melissa. Thank you to all of our Ratchet's executive producers. And also these guys. Head on over to patreon.com slash gigaboots today and become one of these names. 